Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to gate CRC 2010 guys. Okay, so the question is P is a 16 bit integer. The two's complement representation of P is F87B base 16. Okay, so that is the two's complement representation. Okay, so the continuation question is the two's complement representation of 8 into P is. Okay, so this is a quite interesting question guys if you ask me. Because here, if you want to solve it directly, like if you are okay with taking more time, first of all, you need to convert this 2's complement number into normal decimal representation, okay, and then you need to multiply it with 8, and again you need to convert this number into 2's complement. So this is the original lengthy process for this question, okay, yes. So students who want to do it directly, you can use that method, but mostly I will follow a simple trick to do this guys. Okay, so the trick is really easy. The only thing is you should concentrate for a few minutes guys. That's it. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let us start. So basically, first of all, let us write this number in terms of a binary. So it is nothing but F87B base 16. So with this base 16 understanding, you will say that each bit or each number will be written in 4, 4 bits, right? Yes. So how you can write F in 4 bits? It is nothing but a triple 1. How you can write 8? It is a 1000. How you will write 7? It is nothing but 0, triple 1. How you will write B? So basically before writing B, please cross check your things, guys. So A is a 10, B is a 11. So how you will write 11, guys? It is a nothing but 8 plus 2 plus 1. So this is the representation. So it is a... 4 1s, 1, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, this is the 2's complement representation. Okay. So, before trying to do multiplication 8, do one more thing. So, if you recall, whenever you want to store a small size number in a huge uh, data, we do sign extensions, right? Means what we do exactly, we add some unwanted bits, right? So this one is unwanted because one is there. This one is unwanted because one is there. This bit is unwanted because one is there. This bit is unwanted, one is there. Okay, so the final result is a one zero 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 one zero triple one one zero double one. So this is the original number. We have added these ones just to increase the size. That is nothing but sign mag, uh, sign extension. Okay, yes. So now what we need to do is you need to multiply this with 8. Okay. So most of you will be thinking like, okay, so again, we are at the same process of conversions, right? So most of you will be thinking that way. But when you are working with binary, there is a small advantage, guys. So you can write this 8 as a 2 power 3, right? Yes. So the simple trick here is just add or shift these bits by 3 bits. So indirectly, I am saying is 1, triple 0, 0, triple 1, 1, 0, double 1. Okay. So just add that number of zeros at the start, guys. Okay. So indirectly, you have multiplied uh, with 8 here, guys. So I think one or most of you will trust me, but there will be one or two who will be saying that how we need a proof here. Okay. So anyway, we have discussed this concept of uh, multiplication in registers. So anyway, I'll be showing you it again here. Okay. Yes. So I assume that you want to multiply 2 with the 8, guys. So what is the 2 representation normally? It is a nothing but a 0. In, I'll be writing in terms of 4 bits. Uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, right? Yes. So if I want to multiply it with 8, it is a nothing but a 2 power 3. So I told I will add 3 zeros before. Okay. So this is a nothing but a 1. This is a 2. This is a 4. This is a 8. And this is 16. So indirectly I have multiplied it, right? So that is the indirect concept here. Okay. Yes. So now start writing this in terms of hexadecimal. We want the result also in hexadecimal, right? So what is this? Okay. So this is 8. What are the next 4 bits till here, right? So it is 8 plus 4. That is a 12 plus 1. That is a 13. Okay. And what are the next 4 bits? It is a 3. And what are the next 4 bits? It is a 4. Sorry. Okay. So 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, which is 4. Okay, sorry, my bad. So what you will add at the end, guys, you will add 1, right? So that's my silly mistake, which I was doing. Okay, so it is a 8 plus a 4, which is a 12. Okay, yes. So now you can directly convert it, right? Yes. So what is a 12, guys? So A is a 10, B is a 11, C is a 12. So C, what is a 3? That is 3 only. What is 13? D is a 13. So C, 3, 
D8 base 16. So this will be the result. So option A will be the correct answer. It's a quite easy question, guys. The only thing is you should understand these kind of tricks in solving these questions. Okay. Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea. Now everyone will be able to multiply with the two, right? With the two powers on a binary number. Okay. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.